Okay, we're now... Oh, we can't go over lava. That is a problem. Where, where are we going? I assume we're trying to get back to uh, civilization, but how does one do that? Where can we actually go in the underworld? There's a fall, there could be some cool places we can go to down here. Uh, I mean, not not currently, because this is all one island, but... Uh, well, I guess we're back on the, uh, the trek with uh, this airship. That's fine. I don't really mind it. It just feels like we've just been going from back and forth in the Tower of Babel for the last three hours. Tally ho! Let's go talk to the chief. Oh, you've returned! Are you able to recover the crystals? I'm sorry. I see. Gobbin is very persistent. He is trying to open the sealed cave by force. Be a mad time before he succeeds though. Please get a crystal before he does. So our initial plan has been fucked because we couldn't get to the top of the tower. God damn it. Luca, come here. Yes? Your necklace? Yeah. This is the key to just open a sealed cave. Without this necklace no one can enter. So why are we opening it then? <laughs> we don't want Gorbez to go in there. I know he's opening it by force, but we can just fight him outside. Let's take the last crystal. We don't need to open it though, unless he's already inside. We'll do our best. Okay. Sure. Okay, before anything else, we do need to sell some of the items we have in our inventory. Uh, because we have way too many and I don't want to end up being full inside of a cave. I don't want to sell. The, um, Yang stuff. God damn it. I guess we'll do it now. Yeah, we'll keep the bow because that bow will be good later on. Yeah, we got all this stuff. Uh, that we don't really use, to be honest. Do we have any shurikens? No. Honestly, it might have been worth just giving him this. Yeah, we got the money for it. <laughs> Here you go, Kane. Enjoy this. Enjoy your extra two defense. Your extra two defense, I guess. Alright, we're gonna head to the Chocobo and sell the rest of this. Well, not sell the rest of this. Give him it. In case we need it down the line. Okay, according to this, we need to go. There's something in the, in the castle we're missing. I'll have a look around until I find it. What? Sid! Why? He's alive! Hey, where's my food? Sid! How did you survive? I can't believe it. How did you? <laughs> Who's this Kiza? Kiza? Who's this snot nosed kid? Watch your mouth, Wimbad. I'm egg. It's a bit on. Oh my god. It's hard to believe, but it's true. <laughs> I'm also handsome and really skilled. Oh, I can, I can already imagine the voice that it would actually have. God damn. Oh, hush. Sid needs to vest, not listen to you brag. Heh <laughs> heh, has got you whipped, eh, kid? Shut up, keys. <laughs> so, what of Golbez? He still holds all the crystals except one. We can't go after the last crystal since we left the Enterprise on the surface. We've taken on an, an enemy airship, but it can't fly over the magma around here. I guess it's time for me to shut him. You're just hopeless without me. No, no, you stay in bed. I don't want anything bad to happen to you. I'm so, I'm so glad he's alive. What the fuck? How did he survive? Back to bed. Wait till you heal. Oh, I couldn't get it. And give me a hand. <laughs> he's just sidling his way back through. It's amazing. I think he's fine. Yeah. 
I'm so glad he's okay. Like, I was worried, I was generally worried for a minute that Sid... Well, I knew, I thought he was dead, but they subvert our expectations a little bit with this. Because Yang also died, and so did Teller. <laughs> he's being dragged over there, giving a stern talking to. I will say, uh, com even compared to 6, the character writing in this game is really fucking good. Like, I would say it's better than 6 in a lot of ways. Because the thing about 6 is there's a lot of characters and they need to give each one a proper amount of screen time. And a lot of them disappear and don't really come back for the most part. But this, the characters constantly get stuff to do and they're always apparent in the story and they have their own input and stuff. It's great. Like... I can remember these characters a lot more than some of the ones in 6, and that's not saying the characters in 6 are bad, but I think this does a lot better job with it. Uh, it's hard to compare to 9, because 9 has, also has really good character writing, but yeah. Now you can fly over anything. Thank you, Sid. Yeah. Sid? No! Don't! You can't do that, you can't twist a knife and... Oh, he's asleep, okay. <laughs> he must be pooped. He's overworked himself again. Thank you, Sid. Fuck you. Fuck you, game. <laughs> Fuck you, Final Fantasy IV. Making me feel sad for this old man called Sid. This is what they do. They make you care about the Sids and then they just end up dying or becoming sick. Like, so far, Sid has been tied to a lot of emotional moments. Less so in 9, but in 6 he definitely has. I guess 15, he doesn't really do anything, but no cat does anything in 15, so. <laughs> uh, right, see you soon. Yeah, there's a place down here. Is that the cave, though? I don't want to go to the cave straight away. Doesn't look like it. It looks like a building. Coco's Fort. Hey, I like your place here. The master lost his spark. Now he just sleeps the days away. I love that. I have no idea what I just got, but I'll have it. This is Master Coco's uh, uh, workshop, home of the home of the world's finest smith. Well, I guess the underworld's finest smith, right? No, come on! I'm not playing. Right. Is he upstairs? Hey, no! Now is not the time to sleep, buddy. My smithing days are over. Won't forge your sword again until I find a legendary one and a mantite. Alright, yeah, so apparently there's another location I can go to right now I can get this through. There's basically a fetch quest I need to do, so... Yeah, according to the question I just asked... My friend, he just told me that it's... I need to do other things first. Here's going to the other locations properly. Along this route. The question is, is this the cave? No, this is definitely not a cave. Tomba. Ah, Tomba! Most of me, where'd he come from? <laughs> Here to see the old world of blue. How disturbing. <laughs> you know that there's an island in the northwest that leads to the fame mark. Scary, right? Yeah, well, we might be going there at some point. That sounds cool. We can go see uh, what our video's been up to for the last, like, 20 years. Still so afraid of us, even though we're so nice. Still so in this game, too? <laughs> It's surprising to me how much stuff 4 has, has added to the series Mythos. Like dwarfs, Lopowitz, uh, Sky, the, the kind of the moon stuff, like the towers, uh, the arch fiends. Like, I definitely think while the first three games found their footing in Japan, this is where the games like were seen across by, uh, by other audiences like in the, um, in the US and in the UK. Because this game is fantastic so far. In almost every way. <sighs> you motherfuckers. <laughs> you fucks. I'm not gonna buy those nice armors. My money. <laughs> There we go. 
Well, I'm broke. Might get a little bit of money back with this, but not a lot. Not enough. Getting that 13,000 gold was worth it, though. Because Jesus Christ, I wouldn't be able to buy most of the stuff right now. The Ashura. Oh, this is an upgrade for everyone. Okay, right. Uh, Have that. Have that. No. Uh, Yeah. Okay, there we go. Only upgrades for these two. But that's fine. That's not an upgrade. I was told that would be an upgrade. I, I, I have been lied to. <laughs> God damn it. I bought another Ashura. But it wasn't an upgrade. It was just, I already had it. That cost money. Right. right. Oh, let's get out of here. Uh, high potions, I'll buy a few of those. Cures all status effects except KO. Cool. Say to the north, the northwest was um, the Feybrand. So we're gonna go there before we go in there. That's probably where the yeah, that's probably where the secret sealed cave is. <laughs> yeah, don't land in the lava. That'll be bad for everyone involved. What the fuck? I passed him when I left the Fey March. Perhaps we could ask my wife for help. Maybe, but I'm gonna save first. That area looked fucking awesome though. Give me a sec. We need a new save point. The music here is so good. Yeah, look at this place. It's like um, an FF... Oh. An FF9 design. Did that lava hurt me? Yes, it does. It, I think it does. Yep, that... Ah! Oh, that is hurting me a lot, in fact. Yeah, avoid the lava. Oh, thanks. Right, oh, no. No! Run! Man! Ah! What a nightmare! <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, 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 I'm good. I don't need to fight you guys. I'm good! Literally, the. Oh, okay, I'm fighting Quaylag now. Okay, good. Right. Oh my god! Go! Right, heal everyone. Make me walk across the lava, you fucks. Heal everyone. <laughs> oh god. The music here is really good too. I'm not gonna have to go for this entire area. Oh, back attack? Seriously, game, we need to stop doing this. I'm pretty sure the only reason that exists is because they know you will just, like, cheat, cheese your way through here by just avoiding enemy encounters and staying on 1 HP. Because this lava doesn't kill you, it'll bring you to 1 HP, probably. I'm assuming. So when they can get you the back attack or the ambushes, which is happening a lot in this area, come on! Um, then you can just die immediately because you can't do anything about it. Which is why I'm being extra cautious. Fuck it. I'm good. I'm good. I don't need to fight you guys right now. Fuck off. Right. I'm gonna use high potions. I think they restore a little bit more than uh 
Rosa does. Oh yeah, you can see something down there. I really like the music here. It's got a really nice riff behind it, it's very mysterious. Oh, well, if I see the chest, I'm gonna have to go for an eye. Oh, beast you alley. I generally don't know what it's got. Both of the same if I get the lip. Oh, that's the worst item in the game. <laughs> wow! Hey, guys! Biddy, you've returned! I sure have. Are there still enemies here? I hope not. This is fucking weird. You're the first human other than Woody to ever come here. Yeah, it feels like it. I love this, the design of this place. Wow! It's the fame arch, the home of all Eidolons. Those are the Ifrit and stuff, right? The summons. Eidolon King resides below. Yeah, we just got a fair bit of money back, actually. We got a rat tail. So apparently with this, I can give this to someone. And with that, I can get adamantite. It's been a long time, Vidya. Oh my god, is the king a chocobo? Hey, Vidya! What? Yeah, mate, you've been talking to bit before. Oh. I have found the best thing ever. Oh, <laughs> there's a bomb over here. Hi. Ah, oh, Vidya, oh, good, good to see you come back. Hey, Vidya, aren't those your friends that are with you? Yeah, they are. They say you can't meet the king without defeating Queen Asura first. This is Idon Lidley, the whole technology beyond your... Beyond your... Hold much information beyond your knowledge. I'll go in here and read some books. The cave connects this world to the human realm. Only those who, with strong will and body, could endure the journey. The history of the framework extends back to times long before the war of humans. Summoning. The art of calling forth idolons to one's eight. Only a handful of summoners who still stout carry on this ancient art. It is said that some summons yet unknown to any exist in the world. Ifrit, demon of flame. His flame is said to burn all things to ashes. Titan, the great giant who rents the very earth asunder. He then creates in the ground to swallow armies of soldiers. Ramu, a seemingly magnanimous old man. Zanga calls forth great clouds of darkness, raining bolts of judgment upon his enemies. Kira, queen of ice. Those that rather no anger shall have their very hearts frozen solid. The humble chocobo, when it comes to looking cute and playing for battle, it is the class of its own. Yeah, but it also looks cute. And it runs from battle. But that's what any good, good chocobo should do. The sylphs, those lights and gentle idolons. Only when they pour their forces as one, does the full potential of their power become apparent. The golden wall of the fame arc. Strength lies in just a heart. In a just heart. One shall not acquire power unless one's inner strength is fully realised. Odin, legendary master of the famed Danzetsu Tsukun. His only loss in battle occurred with lightning struck the master's sword. The Eidolon King, the powered and seemingly invincible leader of the fame arch. Master of the Northern Oceans are said to be his birthplace. Is that Leviathan? Is Leviathan the master of this place? Asura, queen of the fame arch. Wife and gateway to the Eidolon King, leader of the fame arch. Only those who wield the same powers of their own may see the king in person. Looks lucky we got Eidolon person. The two moons. It is said that there was only one moon in the long de gone days of yore. So where'd the other one come from? Bahamut, he whose power transcends that of the Eidolon king. From afar he constantly watches over the Eidolon he created. If anyone ever managed to defeat the invincible Bahamut in battle, it will have been done only by turning his own unfathomable power against him. Once a great whale for the moon came here to visit, it now vests inside a dragon, sleeping in peace. Bismarck? Eidolons, humans and monsters. Where did they come from? And where are they going? Cat-yai-girl cat, 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 is an eternal mystery. 
For the use of a beast trait, even those monsters with, with which live I cannot discern will be fully revealed. Okay. That is a plot revelation. Uh, no, I'm good. I don't need to do that yet. <laughs> uh, I will fight you guys in a minute. I'm going to heal up first before I even attempt that. I'm assuming I can come here now, right? This isn't post-game stuff. It's been a while, my dear. It really has. This whole place is massive, I love it. We can both keep and they all live here. How's if it's still hot headed? <laughs> Titan's got nothing if you cast floats. Okay, so we're I'm wondering if the boss here is going to be us fighting all of the primals and we need to like work out how each one works. Oh, I idlons. I call them primals because of 16, because of 14. Aegis cure. Cure the prevents petrify. Aww. Aww. Game. We just want to live in peace and quiet. Please don't beg humans for here lightly. That video. I mean, I guess we're here to obtain some sort of power, right? I love that this area is entirely optional, too. Like, we could have just completely avoided this. Well, that's good. So is that. I don't want to get her staff because I don't like her using a staff. I like her using the bow, so I'll just get a uh, video's thing. Because I don't think the others could buy this stuff. It's only for magic dealers anyway. It makes sense. Oh, never mind. Because you have. How much stronger is it though? <laughs> We're about to find out, so. If it's not strong, I'm gonna be very annoyed with you. Oh, yes! Yeah, that's, that's fine. That's a big enough upgrade. <laughs> Wonder if humans have the skill to wield our weapons. Hey, it's video! Switch to video, shall we? So we are in their, in their place. See that you can't meet the queen about yeah okay so so it's to be like we're gonna be fighting the king or oh, the queen so let's do that shall we hi how's it going this is the royal chamber you must. Receive permission for Queen Asura before you can approach the king. Hi. Queen Asura! Vidya, dear, what brings you back? We need your help. Very well, but first you must prove your worth that it is how it is done here. Do you possess the strength and courage to challenge me? Uh, uh, yeah. Let's begin the test. This is, this is gonna wreck me, isn't it? I've played enough of these games to know that. What even are you? Oh, we've already put reflect on yourself. That's fun. Uh, jump. We healing ourselves? Why are you resin? I don't understand. Ow! You reflect? You do not have reflect. Okay, uh, okay, game? Okay. This seems like a post game boss to me. infinite buffs on yourself. Summon, I don't know, if we're Oh Oh fuck. This cow is magic. I'm about to find out. Back off! 
<laughs> she just does 900 damage! Before I can even do anything! That's not fair! <laughs> nice. Oh, yeah, 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 this is fair. This is a fair fight. Don't cease fucking cover! Oh! Got fuck off! Right, there's no way we can foreseeably do this right now. No, there's no universe in which we can do this right now. Because the problem is, she does 900 fucking damage to us. Like, what, what am I meant to do? She's healing herself really quickly as well. Okay, I got an idea, I got an idea. Fucking... Really? Really? Okay. Where's the slow thing? Do I not have slow? No, I don't think I do. I have stop. The stop isn't going to work on this sort of enemy. Slow. I have slow. I think I put it with the chocobo. Shit. That's famous ex live work. Fucking do this. I want to find out how powerful she is. <laughs> I don't think I have anything that ca casts slow in this fight. Oh, good. Yeah. It tells you what they do. Detect on everyone. Bad damage. From dog. Oh no, reflect! Reflect! Oh, but she just restores that much HP every single turn. Wait, reflect didn't work. What the fuck? Did she not cast reflect on herself? Okay, yeah, we're not doing this. Yeah, fuck that. Fuck that. Yeah, that this fight is too difficult right now. Question. Is the only way here through that passage? Do I have to go all the way back? <laughs> Move. Because that's not great. That isn't the best. That means if I want to do this, which I do want to do, I would have to leave and come back. I, I think I have to do grinding. I don't want to do grinding, but it might be the best idea in this. Yeah, there's no... Is there no shortcut to f this place? I think there is. Entrance. There's another fucking entrance to this place. I saw two. There were two entrances. There were two fucking entrances. Game. No, 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 So a little change of pace, we're not going to be going straight to uh, Verb March, Verb March, whatever it's called, uh, because apparently the stuff I have right now is not very good. Uh, there is a place I can go to called the Silk Cave. I don't know if that's accessible right now, but the plan is basically once my characters reach level 35 through the main story and anything along those routes, I'll be, I'll head back. To the verb, verb, what, March? I'm gonna call it the verb, verb, wild. 
It's the Fey Wild. Fey Mark is what it's called. Fucking D&D terms. Uh, because I, I tried grinding here. It's just going to take ages. And either way, apparently people can be you can beat the game on level 35. So it's the same as Jagoon. The same as Breath of the Breath of Breath of Fire 4. So let me check what this cave thing is. And we're going to go there. Oh, there's a place northwest corner of the underworld. Let's go there. Assuming there's no bosses here, it should be fine. Well, assuming there's nothing bad at all over here, it should be fine. Alright, let's save the game before we go in. I'm good. <laughs> oh. oh, it's like the other place, but just Scoopy instead. Lovely. Ah, oh, yeah, lovely. Question, do you have float? No. Video, do you have float? No. Do you have float? No. Because apparently you can use float to bypass all of this. And that would be quite nice. <gasps> it's the Malbo! Say, hey, guys, oh, fuck off. Well, that's, this is already a wonderful start. They're going to bad rep every single character. Oh, wonderful. He, they literally have every single status ailment in the game. <laughs> that could be ever sooner. It's just easy. Oh, yeah. I actually don't want to fight the enemies here because those Malboros are going to suck either way. Now that I think about it. What is this? Oh, yeah, I'll use that. There's a free, there's a free HP restoration thing. Yeah, so for the most part, I'm going to be avoiding these chests because apparently they don't have anything great in them. I love how it's mysterious, but also with an air of ominous about it. This isn't a place that should be dealt with for the most part, but we're here either way to, to traverse it. Whatever dangers that lie within here, we have to explore on our own. Oh, with a few friends, of course. For the most part, we're traversing these terrifying depths on our own two feet. I'm good. <laughs> I'm good, I don't need to fight these guys. Yeah, I found their home. I'm gonna go to this pot first. There's nothing in the pot. Good. Oh, that path over there looks really fun. Just like endless uh, swamp. Oh. Ooh. You know what character would have made good use out of that? Yang. What did you come here for? Go away. We won't <gasps> That's why it would have been good use. Cause he's here. <sighs> we found him lying in the mouth of the cave. We've been taking care of him for a while now, but he has yet to awaken. God, Sid wasn't the only one to survive then. Oh, fuck. <laughs> oh! I wasn't done. Right, so I got, I got a vat tail. And apparently I can use that. Uh, be given to someone. Yeah, how do I get above the world? Is there a way to do that? Oh, not doing that. It might just be a case of I need to go do actual story stuff before I can actually traverse between both worlds. Because right now I can't. <laughs> There will probably be some point in the story where I'm allowed to traverse between both worlds. If not... Oh, oh fuck. Uh, well, hold on then. So yeah, the only thing I'm being told now is just to go here. Because after that, I, apparently everything will open up and I can do a ton of stuff. Well, I'll give it a go. Bandish Fowl, the seal unraveling mark and the path to the Dark Crystal shall be open. 
Oh, I wish it was that easy to get Netflix to not cancel their series, but here we are. That's not the right thing. It's uh, Luca's Necklace. Which, funnily enough, it's the name of another uh, character doing Chrono Creature Guy. Don't know if they were inspired by this game when they named that character. Probably not. Oh, we're, we're cutting down. I find that kind of funny with how th this was sealed behind a magical artifact. They just put like some random rope here to, so we can get down very easily. <laughs> uh, Beastuary. So yeah, as, as we found out last time, as we found out, well not probably, as I found out when we used the last one, it might be the same part to be honest as this. But as we found out in the last part, the door has transformed into a monster. Okay, before I go into this, yeah, so the beast fairy, it does tell you what, it does, doesn't analyze the monster, and it could be anything, but it doesn't always give the HP and weakness. It just tell it, just analyzes it. It's a little bit of a cop out, especially after they said that that, that can be used to analyze anything. Uh, but, you know, maybe it doesn't, an maybe it just, you know, has a look at them and scans them. This is indeed this creature or something like that. So, what is this? It's a boss. Trap door. Ah, this is the name of the door, I see. Oh, this is gonna be Wow, well, he's about to jump into the air, so people like trying to lock onto him after that. I'm gonna activate all my stuff, because I've been gonna be doing some crazy things in this fight. I love that he locked onto Kane though, because he's gone, so he's not gonna have to do anything. <laughs> Well, saying that, everyone here is going to get the buff. Oh, never mind. Everyone here and Kane is like being so swift right now. He left so the target thing couldn't do anything and he came back just in time so he can get that ability. Fan fucking fantastic, Kane. What a, what a pro. What an absolute mad, mad lad. I love him. <laughs> I'm not simping over the Jagoon. Maybe a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to try a Blizzara. Do a bow attack. Oh, never mind. Bow attacks are shit. I mean, it already has like arrows in it, so that makes sense that the arrows wouldn't do anything. Well, okay, a blizzard might be the way to go here. Holy shit. Kane, you are the dream Jagoon. <laughs> the dream man. The perfect human being. This was the way to go. Lovely. The thing is with back attacks is I could fight them out, but the problem is back attacks are way worse than ambushes because it means that the row order has been completely fucked over. So the people who should be taking damage are at the back row, but they can take damage or less, a lot less damage. And it's a little bit annoying. Case in point, uh, Video and Rosa take more damage because they're mages, so they have a lot less health. So my idea is, is I'm trying to get them to the back row so they, take, they don't take as much damage. I kind of made a joke there. Kane in point, I could have said. I didn't go with it in the end. Okay. That's a little much game, I will say. Uh, I'm gonna heal before this because it could be another door. It was another door. The door has transformed into a monster! God damn it, doors. Always transforming into monsters. Okay, uh, put your cover on him now. I don't know what he's about to do, but it's probably not gonna be good for us. Uh, but let's put a wee little protect on. The ninth dimension. That sounds like death. Yeah, it was death. Okay. Assuming you can only do that once in this fight, I won't be too bad to deal with. Oh. Why do you do this, Cecil? Why do you memory curse on Cecil's cover? I mean, to be fair, there's no point protecting him, he is dead, but now he isn't dead, so you can protect him. Okay. Get out of here, Kane. Thank you. It's 
really good when he goes for Kane, like, actually. Like, the one time would I actually have great. Uh, can do Ninth Dimension, he's not here. Supplies! Chimera Brain. Okay. I don't know why this has become, but it doesn't look good. It's like a super version of a Chimera. Frost Blast. Okay, Fire. Yeah, that wasn't great. I mean, it, it's not that too bad at our level, but yeah, I, prefer, I would prefer if he did not, sir. Oh, it healed him, even though he used white frost magic. No, not sight. I wanted to use Libra. You're just, you're just going for him, aren't you? No effect, yeah, because not on the world map. Of course they would have no effect. Frost Blast! Nice! I like that Vosa just happened to heal Edge. I thought you were a cool, handsome dude who didn't need any help. Looks like you need a lot of help, <laughs> Edge, is what I'm saying. Yeah, this attack. Uh, well, magic is out of the question. We can try Fundara. There we go. And we're done. Kane was gone for that level. <gasps> Who learned haste? Was it you, Rosa? Hey, that's really good. That's actually a really good debuff. That, um buff to have, not debuff. Kosetsu? No, Kotetsu, not Kosetsu. Just couldn't say, this is a Final Fantasy XIV character in this chest. He already has one. Why do, why do Final Fantasy games do this? Like, do they have no faith in their, in their players that they're gonna buy the thing from the shop? To be fair, a lot of people don't use Gil. A lot of people don't use the money system. But, I would say that the money exists so that you can buy this better equipment. So why wouldn't you use it? It wasn't that expensive. It was like 1,000 or 10,000 maybe. I have I have 50,000. Yeah, well, maybe for me, but for someone else that might be a lot. And also there's always the possibility that people may be speedrunning this game, so they kind of want to know what they're going to get in these chests. And also, it's always going to get good stuff. This is all going to be monster doors. Yeah, it is all going to be monster doors. The door is transformed into a monster! Fair, it's worth firing these doors just because they give a ton of EXP. Oh my god, that was really fucking clutch there. Uh, basically, I knew that Edge was gonna die because of the um, because of the uh, dimension attack he was targeting with. So what I did was like I timed it so that the, immediately as soon as I saw the the text ninth dimension. I used the Phoenix down on Egg, so he was able to come back before the EXP bonus at the end. That was pretty good. Oh, there's a lot more doors over here. Oh my... Good God! Oh... Uh... <laughs> fuck my fuck. Which one of these is the best? One of these is going to be a best room, isn't it? Well, shit. <laughs> I don't want to cheat. Uh, I'm going to go with this one. The door is transformed into a monster. There's a box here. <laughs> I'm good. I'm already fighting like... 20 doors. <laughs> I don't need any. I don't need any more enemies to deal with. On top of that, 
Light Curtain has Sim- oh. Okay, remember Light Curtain. Because that'll be important later, probably. Right, uh, eeny, meeny, miny, you. Could be a door that leads to nowhere. Second one. I just went like out of order and I actually got it. Okay, uh, this one. The door has transformed into a monster. Is that for you, H? I mean, that decreases your attack, but it increases your defense, so yeah. More defense is better than one attack, I think. <laughs> Especially how we have 100 attack. So I don't think one decrease is going to make a big of a difference. Saying that, it's always a boss fight that could happen, and I'll be like one hate, like hit point from killing him, so... one sadness well, I think we got like two more to get through and then that's it for this floor I like that this dungeon has a, has a really interesting gimmick like there are obviously still enemy encounters but you can skip most of those in favor of doing these monster doors which will usually have stuff inside of them as well so it's kind of a uh, you can fight them and you might get good stuff but there's always a chance you might not so you've got to kind of work out which ones you do want to fight. Aha, they learn float. Also, the biggest benefit this is doing, like, the, the, the loot inside is fantastic, but we are getting so much EXP from killing these doors. It's so worth just killing them all. They all get 5,000, which is about, about a quarter of a level, which is pretty good at this point in the game. I don't think you deserve to be alive, Egg. <laughs> you just keep dying, buddy. Right, I think there are two more doors down here to the bottom left. On this floor, but I'm not gonna go back and check. Well, I'm gonna go back. Oh, 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 I would be able to check, but you know. I don't like the fact that the game has started treating these like beast, beast areas. Oh, hold on. Uh, I am low on AP. Yeah, I, like I said before, I, I don't know how I feel about the game treating these beast area things as actual like rewards for chests, like finding because. I just got one back there, and it's like, sure, they're better than nothing, but they're also just, you know, Libra if, yes, it can be targeted on any enemy, but that doesn't mean that enemy is going to give you any information, so it's like, there's no foreseeable benefit to it because it's RNG. And there's always a chance it will be good, but there's also a chance it won't be good, so it feels less fun to pick up than, say, an elixir, which will always be good. <laughs> Like, imagine if an elixir had a random chance of actually working. You wouldn't want to use it, would you?
Okay, everyone. <gasps> you are level 35. Okay, that does mean we can go back to uh, the village. I thought you'd get wall at 35. I guess not. What? There's nothing in there, but where am I going then? <laughs> Um. Oh, fuck off! <laughs> I actually had to look that up because this is a f this this game does this too often, and I'm glad Six rectifies it because why are they hiding these doors in the worst possible positions? Like I don't I don't know why this is a thing. This game has diff this is probably the most difficult thing in this game outside of the random encounters. Is trying to navigate these maps. Not bad maps, I really like some of their designs, I like their gimmicks, but sometimes it's just like, oh, there's nowhere to go? You've probably got to look for an invisible wall to get through. Like if, if they designed the Dark Souls invisible walls, they actually required, they actually required to do them to do progress. Which I'm pretty sure they've never done. For the most part, what did I just get? This Christmas bell? That would have that bit of silence. Very nice. So was that door up there? I didn't even check. Oh, we're checking now. He was one hit away, wasn't he? Yeah, good. Thank you for that game. You absolute twat. <gasps> Who learned to flex, by the way? I saw that. Like, for a split second, I could see something. I saw that we had learned to flex. Also, my speed thing is all on. Uh... That's awesome if we have learned it finally. Is it you, Rosa? Did you learn reflect? Please tell me you have. <gasps> okay, the entire battle has changed. <laughs> the entire battle has changed in our favor. There's nothing in here. Well, either way, the EXP and getting reflect was way worth it. So, I'm happy of that. I'm gonna put, oh yeah, let's put like 50,000 chests here in here, in it. Right, bye bye. Yeah, bye bye. If I, if I was to design this game, I would put a, a save point in here. <laughs> I think I figured something out about the, 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 the actual combat system as well. That, um, the enemies can't, don't charge up their attack while you're actually in your menu. So, say like you're on, such as your next character. That menu, it can still charge the attack on, but the second you go into, say, attack or the items menu, it stops being able to do that. Which is kind of cool, I think. I think that's how it works. That's, that's, that's why I'm seeing from that, because I had to go back to the main menu to try and trigger his beta's uh, ninth dimension attack. Oh, so there was no save room in here, I was wrong. Look at these chests. X potion. Oh shit, those are like the super potions, aren't they? They're better than mega potions. Yeah. So it's a large amount of HP. We're getting there. We're getting there with this game, surprisingly. My 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 plan was to rush not rush you this game, but do a big map of this game now that I had a lot of time over Christmas. And then I might take a little break before I go into uh into Final Fantasy 7, which is the next one after this, surprisingly. And I'm very excited for that, because that means I can finally understand the story of Final Fantasy. I was planning on Final Fantasy 7. I was planning on, you know, waiting until the remake stuff came out, but it's taking too long. So I just thought, fuck it, I'll just play the, the original and understand the story, so I could be probably more excited for what they do with the uh, remake. In terms of some of the story beats, because from what I've heard from people, they actually did a pretty good job of recapturing the essence of Midgar. So I'm curious to see how they tackle some of the later game areas, like the giant snake, which was the last thing I thought when I played that game. And back then I had a very strong opinion of that game, and we'll get into that when I play it, but for now let's focus on 4, and then we'll talk about it when we actually get 7. The door has transformed into a monster! Yeah. Looks like all the others. So I'll speed up. Easy. 
Easy door. Definitely didn't kill Kane at all. Definitely not. Boss fight. I'm already wary of it. Here it is, though. The final crystal. It's orange, too. Wow. We did it. We have the four. Obtained. We did it, guys. We attained Dark Crystal. We can finally bring back uh, Dark Crystal to Netflix. We'll get season two. And we can all be happy. Let's get out of here. The walls! They're moving! Removing the crystal must have triggered it. So much for the smoothies. Are we fighting a boss? Oh, it's you! Oh, you're getting closer. Okay, that's fun. Uh, not for you, though. Not for me, though. Uh, let's do this. Let's do that. Uh, whoa! Uh, attack. Right. I like that they haven't even given, um, Rosa a go, this is fun. Can Rosa have a turn, please? Thank you. Right, reflect. On video. Yeah, it is getting closer, so we've got to kill this quickly. Uh, I might put haste on... Oh, shit. Petrification, petrification, that stone eye. So, we can, we can just use a stone on, uh, Cecil. Sooner on Cecil. It is getting closer. Oh, so you did put reflect on video, didn't you? I think you did, yeah. Like right, jump. Black Mage Magic. Uh Blazara. On yourself. And get to let's throw the shuriken. So I'm not using it for anything else. Let's use a kill go on everyone. Uh, you just attack. Cecil. I think this is meant to be a time limit fight, so let's do this quickly, shall we? Heal him too. Oh, that's a lot as well. <laughs> Get fucked. That ah, wasn't that great. Could have been better. What is that doing? Is that just decreasing our damage? Haste on every- oh, on, uh, you know what, Kane, you have that. I don't know if a uh, haste or swing piece is a char- is a charge for his jump, but it might also be good to do that, possibly. Stone gaze on Midia, that's fine, I don't care. Right, right, uh, Kuaga on everyone. I know it's gonna heal him as well, but I don't care. Right, yes, jump. That's the most damage out of, out of the entire party. By far. I don't give a fuck, he heals you. It's only 500. Actually, it wasn't even 500 for you, ha! <laughs> uh, yeah, Blazara on yourself. Attack. Yeah, I'm assuming he has the amount of HP that a normal boss has, so we gotta be quick about this. I don't know how much Avena we get for this. Hopefully a lot. I don't know how tight the game is going to be of this. He's already got Stone Gaze, you can't give away again. We have to be close. Uh, haste on him. I mean, the game just like gives them so much fucking help, so I, I can't really, you know, prepare for that, to be honest. Fandara. God, like. I think he's also lot. Yeah, it, the haste doesn't apply to the, um. Come on, guys. How is he not dead? <laughs> it's gonna crush us. It's gonna kill us. 
I don't know how much fucking health you have, buddy, but you need to chill out and die. Like, at this point, it's just... Oh, fuck. At this point, I can't heal anyone because of our mana. Really? I'm just gonna keep attacking at this point. It doesn't matter if people die. Okay. Huh. <sighs> okay. Fucking hell. <laughs> That was a wee bit stressful. It almost all became a kibble sandwich. Alright. Nothing to it. Get me the fuck out of here. Oh, I can't use an emergency exit in this room. Oh, I'd like to be able to escape. That's why emergency exit exists. I couldn't do it in the last one. Can I do it in this one, please? You're not gonna let me emergency exit, are you? Game, let me emergency exit, come on! Nope, okay. I'll see you guys outside. <laughs>